Hey, everybody. Welcome. You know, it just occurred to me now that me playing this on the eve of my 35th birthday is perfect, considering Tingle is 35 years old. And uh, this is his first appearance. It just struck me as I clicked go live. So on the 8 Do controller, are there supposed to be three lights on? Also, I think we hit 10k, which was my goal. Uh, yeah, we did. We literally just hit 10k. I haven't even started playing the fucking game yet. Holy shit. Um, so there's a bunch of treasure chests that I can get in Clock Town. I do have a map. Yeah, Zelda 2. <laughs> yeah, speedrun, sure. Uh, I do have a map slash tracker to help me when I get stuck, and I will get stuck a lot. Vinny, I do randomized runs of this, and I'm loving it. So sorry. Alright, first item. So there's a... What is that, chat? There's an item up there. I think that might be a bottle. Yeah, I can get it, because I'm, I'm Young Link. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good, um, thing to have early. A bottle, right? I think it is, at least. Got any Zelda stories, Vin? Yeah, I- Oh shit, Great Fairy's Mask! Wait, that's exactly what you get here, right? Beautiful. Link, I can't believe he cut off someone's head. This could be anything, chat. This could be... It, it is a map of Romani Ranch. Oh boy, I can't wait to get more maps. There it is. Please don't be money. Nice! Fire arrow! Wow, okay, that's, that's a really fucking weird first item to get. So apparently, now I'm 35. Wow. And at the exact moment of me being 35, I am looking at Tingle. Where is he? Chat, where did Tingle go? Chat, Tingle is gone. Alright, well... I'm Tingle now. There we go. Here's a good item. It's... It, 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 it could be worse. Listen to Guru Guru. I thought Guru Guru was the frog. <laughs> Ocean title deed. What the fuck? There, there, there she is. Oh, and here he goes. I hear him tap, 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 tap. Stop this. No, I didn't screw this That's what you get. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. You gotta be shitting me in the fucking face. Gold dust. The fuck? Go down the river for the potion quests. Uh, okay. Well, hang on. Someone said climb the tree in the previous area. Let's check that out. That's a 50 rupee. Yeah, so, uh, there's a bat stuck up there. Yo! That's a really fucking good... That's a really, really good find. I think I can pop Tingle's balloon now. Chat, no! It, no, not like that, chat! No! Chat, no! Ah! 
Vinny, I only just realized this is a game about masks, and you're streaming it to raise money to buy masks. I... Wait a minute, I had no idea there was that angle. Special deal, you could take the cruise for free. And we're giving out an I- WOW! The fuck? I love the way this sword looks. I think it's it's really cool. And it was like used in all the promo art, and then it just broke after 50 hits or 100 hits. But now, I can use it as much as I want. The moon's quite beautiful tonight. The black omen is sparkling in the sun. I should probably pop tingle. Quit, quit. Hey, Tingle. You and I are the same age now. Uh. Wow. That was uh, fortunate. I can get the giant's wallet too. It's a good thing I know where 50 rupees are. Vinny, it was 40 rupees? Wait, was it? Alright, well, no harm, no foul. Hell yeah. 500 rupees. Isn't that the, the best wallet? Any of the, like, good chests I go to are gonna have rupees in them, so I may as well have a wallet to hold them all, right? There you go. Pendant of Memories. You should probably take the pendant to Andrew anyway. Uh, okay, that's a really fucking obscure item. Vinny, I donated to reverse your controls. Please hold your controller upside down for one minute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, my friend. I'm holding it- alright, I'm holding it upside down currently. Bomber's Notebook. Okay, good. So, red rupee, I can buy for five rupees. I'm- I'm gonna buy it, chat. That is actually a very good deal. Thank you, Tingle. Wait, is this infinite money? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, man. Oh, I got scammed. I got fucking super scammed. Yay! This is the bomber's notebook. Oh, no. Okay, thanks. Captain's hat. Hell yeah. Poop. He is. So the moon cried a heart piece. What's your name, guy? This is the bomber's notebook. <laughs> Thanks. It's business. It's business, scrub! I'll sell you a red rupee. 150 rupees for one red rupee. Oh my god! So that's- that was- that wasn't great. We'll come back to that. 
<laughs> so fucking weird. And they're not in any way disconcerted by the fact that I have a little head growing out of my face. He is. This dude's like, I, I'm done. Moon falling down. Weird kid dancing with a fucking face head. Nope, I'm out. God damn it, I missed the rupee. Damn it. Chateau Romani. Oh, for uh, anyone who never played this game, on the third day, since the moon is about to crash into the planet, you know, that starts happening. So. How many rupees will I bet? Oh, I'm gonna bet 50. You need 150 to win, so I'm going 50. It's a marble stream now! All right, the uh, the cream puppers are in first, but uh oh, the gray pupper and now the gold pupper is going a little bit further. Gold pupper has a high chance. Gold pupper in first place. Gold pupper possibly going to take the lead. Gray pupper is slightly behind, but oh, what is this? Oh, the gold pupper takes all the marbles. 150 rupees, and I get the bonus prize of the hero's bow. Well, that opens up, like, fucking so much more. Oh. This music. The most, uh, maybe the most unsettling music in the game. Okay, a lot of heart pieces today. Okay, we can do the shooting gallery. Alright, not bad. God damn it. I mean, I was three away. I could eventually maybe do it. All right. Ah, Central Park. Milk bottle. So many fucking bottles. I kind of want to do a save state and just show people the moon crashing into the planet. I might want to play. Oh, that's our year. 2020. No way you almost at it, mate. Just this once, here you go. Wait, I get to go again? Damn it. Wait, is, do you have to be perfect? Pretty much. Oh, cool. How did I do this as a kid? How did I 100% this game? It's just time and patience, I suppose. I did even worse this time? I did exactly the same? <laughs> Can't wait for the moon to show up and help me with this shooting minigame. The moon's got some great AoE. Please.
If only there was a mouse attachment. Vinny, deposit. I got 12 hours, son! Perfect. Ugh. Fine, I guess. Do it again for the second reward? What do you mean, second reward? I have to do it again? Ah! Wait, what? I'm gonna let you know right now... ...if I need to do this fa- it's- it's another piece of heart, chat. If I need another piece of heart, I know where to go. Vinny, go to Stockpot in Staff Room for a chest. At this time, at this hour... ...with this moon... Chat, we're gonna be fine. That was scary. Bean! Now we check the curiosity shop. We deposit. We see if it's worth it. I save state. You take a look at the moon crashing into the planet. And then we, we do it all again. We do the time warp. That's some pretty big thunk. Oh look, I got the thing. I couldn't buy it because the rupees were still teleporting into my pocket. I I don't I don't I don't think the moon is falling. I don't believe the moon is falling. This fell down here, I'll give it to you. Wow! Let's go see the sword master. I'll be on vacation for a short while. Please don't look for me. You know, I've never seen that. <laughs> he didn't believe it. But, well, he's on vacation. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's off someplace. I'm scared. I can't take it. I don't want to die. I mean... It, it went from funny to really fucking sad. There's the mayor. Cowards, all of you! Now, one of you stayed, my apprentice will be disgusted with all of you. Hmm. I'll have a fine carnival without you. You're gonna fall and fall already! Can't wait for that carnival. Any minute now. Oh no. Bar's closed. I'm gonna hang out with my mayor. Yeah, canonically, Link forgot the song in that moment. I like how tastefully this game handles Link's death. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? How, how did you say that, friend? I would say that was a really productive first day. Wait a minute. What? What the fuck was that? Uh, that was a randomizer exclusive chat. And I'll read one more. Funky Kong. Hey dude. 
I know the waves of life have been mondo rough lately, but you gotta keep riding them out, you know? You only got one balloon life in this Kongi Kong world, so treasure it like it's the last banana in your hoard. Stay safe out there, bro yacht, fellow Chatty Kongs. Your main monkey, Funky. That was a $10 donation. Thank you, real Funky Kong. I appreciate that. Locally, a lot of my friends didn't... They wanted to do something, too, for, you know, all the shit that's going on. And I have um, my friend Joe, who does uh, the mixes for Redbox, plays bass. He's a, a good lad, and he organized a big thing for uh, a lot of local Staten Island musicians to cover Race for the Prize by the Flaming Lips, which is a pretty appropriate song. And I was a part of it very, very minimally, but um, I'll play a little bit of it. And this is all done remotely, like people at home. Lots of my friends are in this, like Staten Island musicians, people I've jammed with. My friend Bill is in there playing keyboard. I just did some vocals. I was too lazy to pick up a guitar for this. Anyway, yeah, it's cool. I'm in there somewhere. I'm in the mix. Very, very, very briefly. There it is in chat. And it's um, Race for the Prize by the Flaming Lips, who probably now own this video. I'm sorry, Latin Autor now owns this video because of that cover. Vinny, what's your most shameful paranormal belief? Um, I, I believe that maybe aliens have made contact with the government, maybe. I do, but I don't know if I believe it. That's the thing. I say, I say belief, but I don't know. The more you research UFOs, it's very frustrating, because the more you research UFOs, the more bullshit there is, and the less I end up fucking believing. There's like a, it's like a bell curve, you know? The, the less you know, the more you believe, if you just watch a couple things. And then the more you look into it, the bell curve goes up into the bullshit realm, and you're just like, oh, I give up. And then you go back down, eventually, if you if you are fucking galaxy-brained about it, I guess, and then you... I, I don't know, I, maybe bell curve wasn't the best way to describe it. That's... yes, that is a shameful belief, perhaps. There are three items in this cave, two invisible chests. Okay, we need to get those invisible ones. This could be a very important cave. So far, not really, but... Couple's mask. It's filled with their love. Mountain title deed. Ugh. Visit the grandma first in Stockpot. Okay. Granny cream, hot butter ice cream! You take the hot butter, you put it in the ice cream, you mix it all around, and then you go SCREAM! <laughs> oh shit! Yo! Yo! That's a good thing to get. That was a great story I heard again. You listen so hard so mother is happy, I'll give you a prize. Garrow's mask. Wandering ninja spirits. Wow, she had some good masks. Ah, ah, ah. The couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? We're all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But Mr. Mayor, this will do whether you're stubborn and will stay or guard your family. If you'd prefer to run far away and seek shelter, this is for your peop for people to decide on their own. Well, problem solved. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are also stubborn. It is shameful. <sighs> that seems like a reasonable gift if a kid wandered in. Honestly, I do have a reservation. I have you down for an afternoon arrival, Mr. Link. That's me. In the knife chamber. Just as um, a little aside for next time. Uh, 
No, dude, look at me! Oh my god, bro! It's another bottle. Wow. It's just the empty one. I know where it is. And then when I get magic, I can, you know, use it. Okay, so that's a heart piece. Okay, so that's checked off. If the fairies aren't randomized, you can get magic by talking to the Clocktown Fairy as a Zora. Sweat? <laughs> yes! Ah! Oh. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, fuck off. Alright, so that's the first one, alright? If you do all three, you get an item. So I have to do... I have to come back on day two and day three. Okay. Alright, so this will be my Scarecrow song. You ready? Well, that was easy. I did- yeah, I, I learned Visual Basic. I, I made AOL progs, or tried to. I failed miserably, but I tried. I realize now that not everyone knows what I'm talking about when I say progs. So that's- never mind. Here, I got a better one for you. With progs, you could punt people off the internet. I, I really can't wait to stumble upon the Fierce Deity Mask. I know it's gonna happen in one of these grottos or some dumb item for doing the most menial of tasks. Please be it. Wow. Well, that was fucking highly convenient. Fucking bomb shoes. Wow, really? Nah, I was just joshing. Oh yeah, the aiming is ten times better in the 3DS. Ugh. Oh, the adult wallet? I already have the giant wallet. Oh. Guess I can deposit. I don't know if I could deposit all of this, but, um, here, I have a hundred. Yep. This is all I can give you. It is Letter to Cafe. Wow. Green hat, green clothes. Andrew wrote about you in her letter. Seems you're looking for cafe. You keep a secret. Andrew trusted you. I shall also trust you. I've never even met Andrew, but sure. So, um, he's a child. There was, there was like a curse. Strange imp wearing a mask turned him into a child. He was supposed to get married, but now he's Bab. God damn it. Yeah, this is the, the best quest in maybe, like, almost any Zelda game, I think. It's a really... It's a really good one. It's well written. It's fucked up. It's sad. It's, um... Yeah, by the time you get to the end of it, it's, it's pretty emotionally heavy. There's one- OH SHIT!
All right, first dungeon, here we come. Oh, shit! Okay, um, looking around here, again, there's, there's also three days of Deku Playground, which I'm probably gonna do. Oh, fuck off. Every time Deku Link spins, it makes a noise that sounds like the word spin. Alright, that was bean-like. God damn it, I was just checking it off on the map. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Well, Bean Man can give me an item at least. The Mask of Truth. Alright. Try again. Oh! Okay. This guy. This fucking guy. You son of a- Just shoot bubbles at them. Well, I thought maybe that would be good enough. Yep, it is confirmed heart piece. Uh, if I get that heart piece, do I have to do this whole thing all over again? Get it on the way out, okay? Not getting it now. Getting it now. Fuck. All- That is- Oh, I'm good! Oh, no! How dare they make this part easier? How dare they? Oh, this- this takes- this takes fucking forever. So there's, there's no, uh, there, this is, switch back to Link and shoot Arrow. I, I've been, it just takes fucking forever. say the heart would have been my consolation prize again if I had fucked that up. My god. Sonata of Awakening. Why'd I get kicked out? Oh... Excellent. Okay. So the songs are confirmed in the same place, which is- that- that speeds the- everything up. Pictograph. Okay. I gotta check that off, too. You predicted Breath of the Wild during Majora's Mask. Now predict the sequel. Oh, I don't have the energy for that. I've already given my best predictions, but uh, I don't remember if I did that. It was So I was playing Majora's Mask 3D, and people were like, what do you think the next Zelda game would be? And I voice cracked, and then I said, here's what I think the next Zelda game is going to be. You said open world with multiple weapons. Honestly, that was just wishful thinking. I, I can make no specific predictions that I haven't already made, aside from, I think, you know, there's gonna be dungeons and some more traditional Zelda elements, like items. That seems pretty obvious. That- that feels... Like, we're gonna have the freedom of Breath of the Wild, but with a little bit more restriction. Link will be in it. Um, you'll have to fight... Crenando's crusty human form. 
maybe the hookshot will return. There's gonna be a mini game where you cook Koroks and eat them. Ah. Uh... Vinny, remember to use light arrows. Oh yeah. One hit? Yes, very good. Fuck you. And now for the creepy noises that this dude makes. Odwalla! Yeah, that's him out, Odwalla. How you doing? The noises he makes are still really fucking weird. What the fuck is this man saying? Alright, well that- that happened. Uh, I thought that was gonna take a little longer without the light arrows, but that just fucking melted through him. Song. Allergy of Emptiness. Vinny, go back. Oh, yeah. Considering I'm not, like, following the story... Oh, right, you need to be in a... I forgot, this was one of those... Those weird moments. Just another one of Majora's Mask's very strange moments. Oh, um, you want to see the Elegy of Emptiness? Yeah, we can do that. No? Where's- where's Ben? Save state- save state and sell the princess bottle. What, what do you mean you can sell the princess? What, you can sell it to the oddity dude? I never fucking knew that. You can't? Oh, that's japes. Error! Race the Deku Butler? Please follow me, Link. Here's some fire that you have to fucking run through. Good luck. No! I'll just, yeah, the, the mask needs to go at that point. Go fast. Wait, I don't have to go fast? Can't wait for my 20 rupees prize from this. Ah! I, I cringed. Chat, I actually cringed. And not in the way that, you know, you would say that one cringed. Like, I had a real cringe. Yeah, gotta be real careful, man. Be real careful over there. It's gonna walk good. 
when I get over there. now too? I don't remember this. I don't remember this being this difficult actually. God, this is this is dampy on crack. And yet again, sometimes I just have to ask myself, how did I 100% this game? Well, you know, I was like 15 when this game came out, so. I mean, it wasn't rupees. Is there another item for this? Um, yeah. Source 2 uh, dev kit was released. There's already mods. I can't wait to play some Half-Life Alex mods. Currently, chat, you know, the workshop is now available for Half-Life Alex with Source 2 and tons of tools. And I want to show you. It's amazing. Look at the stuff that's already available to download. It's so cool. So I can't wait to see where we're at in another 24 hours. Sorry about the audio delay. That was on there for a reason, but now I don't need it. Gone. Audio delay is gone. Yeah. Yeah, rock and roll ass. Also, I want to recommend hot ginger ale if anyone has never experimented with hot ginger ale. Boy, is it... Just don't do it. So, my problem is, I had old ice in my freezer, and it tasted like french fries. So I had to, uh, I had to get rid of that ice. Clean your ice. What if I scrape the outer layer of the ice? Will it still taste like french fries? This better be a great item that enables me to move to the next set of things like I need to do because I have locked progress right now, believe it or not. I'll remember it eventually. They are rewards, not items. Okay. Wow. Well, that was... fucking... extremely fortunate. Vinny, look at my chat log. I called Goron Mask. Do I win something? I mean... What would you like, chat member? Do you want... a brand new car? Send the chat member some french fry ice. I could do that. I hate this maze. Did I not do this as Link chat? Can you do this as Link? Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Is that Marco Keaton? Um, Keaton Grasser. Keaton Mask opens up, like, three spots, actually. Is that Marco Keaton? Is that George Keaton? Is that the cartoon Batman? How many cows are there at Romani Ranch? Okay, chat, I'm gonna really need help with this one. I took a chance, some chat members were saying. It was three. What instrument does the Skull Kid play? The ocarina, right? I mean, that's what he has. Whoa, 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 flute? Oh, yeah, I guess he had my ocarina for a brief time in the beginning. Brain dead. Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Link? That's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes. Oh, wait, am I? Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. Tonight, tonight! They are coming. 
This is one of the weirdest fucking side quests in all of Zeld. You two work perfectly together. Goron Lullaby. Oh. Running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. He's in the middle of mental training. Oh, it's this. Press start, count to 10 seconds. At the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot, press A again. Ten forty. How'd that happen? I guess I have Cracker Jack timing. What the fuck? Wow. I don't need this. I've succeeded. Vinny, did you ever own any pogs? Oh my god, yes, I have... I have pogs. I still have them, yeah. I'd, I'd love to dig them up and show you at some point, chat, but... I have pogs and slammers. Oh my god. I literally have them right in front of me. Why? I don't know, it's just... I don't know. Let's see, real quick. It never hurts to axe. It's a zombie with an axe in his head. Pure poison. It's a skull with a knife through his skull. Zack from Power Rangers. Pink Ranger. Ready for action Power Rangers. A skeleton on a surfboard. A super cool aesthetic eight ball. Vincent Van Gogh, which is a zombie painting a picture of some kind. Another aesthetic eight ball. Some weird, like, dude with a shield falling, and it's also aesthetic. A bat lady. Eric the dead. It's a viking, but he's he's dead. Another eight ball. <laughs> uh, karate and a guy doing a high kick. And Kimberly from Power Rangers. The pink ranger. And that's just maybe like, I guess, I would say... 5% of my pog collection. That opens up the rest of the game. All right, before I do that, I want to show you guys something. All right, so th that's what my map looked like. This is what happens when I click Epona. Those are all the other locations that have been unlocked. It's me, Darmani. It's me! Hell yeah. Romani Ranch is under siege. Another settlement needs your help. What the fuck is the Ram Ranch? Can can someone please explain to me what that is? Naked cowboys? Is this one of those things where I should have just kept my fucking mouth shut? Or is it Ram Ranch? Okay, that's enough of that. Cool, thanks. Um, you know, I see people typing Ram Ranch for like. Every time I play this game, for the past three play sessions, and I'm like... I know I'm gonna regret if I ask what the fuck a Ram Ranch is. Someone sent me something interesting. Vinny, I know you're interested in UFOs. There was a, um... When I opened my Animal Crossing stream yesterday, I think it was Animal- or RimWorld, I talked about how I was watching a video of a UFO crash in Brazil. And the video starts with strange light. Right? It's like a strange blue pulsating light. Followed by, like, smoke, and then, like, government ex officials in the distance. An explosion. And then people saying the E.T. is dead. I mean, we have... I guess we have time. We can- we can watch it. <laughs> A blue light. We don't need to hear that. But anyway, there- there's the- there's the UFO, there's the light in Brazil. Come to Brazil! And then you can see, there's the smoke. There's the explosion. So there it is, everybody. There's the UFO. Definitely not a glass bowl. I love how we have HD cameras until we really need to film something... HD. 
you know, like important, like a, a UFO. And then potato phone. God damn, Epona, you don't. Epona, what the fuck? Mental. Absolutely mental. But I figured that would be a good topic for this. Considering I'm about to fight aliens. It's so fucking freaky. I love it. Is Epona usually this feisty? That is, the gyro aim is so fucking wonderful. <laughs> and boy, I wish I had it here. Uh, running out of ammo again. Perfect timing. <laughs> it's a piece of heart. Well, I mean, crisis has been averted. Look, the doggy's happy, everyone's happy. No aliens, no brain scramblies, every- oh, oh. It's no Dragon Quest XI horse racing, which made me want to fucking, you know, have a conniption after a certain point when you unlock the hardest difficulty. Oh, that's... kind of lame. Fupletical. Relating to fuplets. Okay, chat, tell me if you remember, but this, when I was playing Majora's Mask 3D, this was the spot where I was talking about my movie idea. And I don't remember what it was exactly, but there was a movie... What, what was the movie idea? Does anyone remember Sp McSwoley Bulkin? Nick Cage as the moon. Oh, it was Majora's Mask movie. But starring Nick Cage and McSwoley Bulkin. Okay. It's a rock-sockin', cock-sucking good time! I think that's on the Full Sauce channel. He died doing what he loved best. Dying. Wow, this was five years ago. Jesus Christ. I'm Vin Diesel. I'm gonna fly a nuclear submarine into the moon. That's what I'm gonna do. There's that compressor. And you can't stop me, Moon. I got this. But Vin, it's a submarine. It doesn't have wings. Baby, where I'm going, we don't need wings. The rock sockum cock sucking hit of the summer. Oh my god. Majora's mask. Watch as Megan Fox uses her toe thumbs to save the world. With Vin Diesel. <laughs> and Channing and, and Scr Scrotum McTater Scrotum. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I want to listen to myself anymore. I'm good. Like three, three years ago. You bailed before Danny DeVito Tingle. That Tater Scrotum is so hot right now. In this feel good, rock sock em, cuck sucking hit of the summer. Dear God. And John Cena! Yep. Nicolas Cage plays the moon. Well, you know, I, I thought about it for a little while, and I decided that mm, I'd rather join you on Earth. Just let me live my life as a moon. I'd like to reunite with my planet. In this cunt slurping <laughs> field of fucking walking. Plays Majora, or maybe Zelda, doesn't matter. Danny DeVito is Tingle. Are you a real fairy? <sighs> I've officially sapped all of the comedy out of this. Put out three vinyl. Three records. Pretty cool, I guess. There's always a bigger fish. Land moon tier for land title deed. All right, that's all right. I can check those locations off at least. All right. Good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride?
We have to take this detour through ugly country. <laughs> well, that was fucking instant. Oh, it's these fucking clowns. Did I did I fail yet, or do I have like some margin of error here, chat? chat. Okay, I think I'm good so far. Three. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. Cafe's mask. <laughs> Largest quiver. And piece of heart. that worked. Okay. Oh, what's this thing? Okay. Well, it, well, we know one, one of them is a rupee. It's business. It's business scrub. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, that- the business scrub joke I will make every time. I guess this... This, this is such a good side quest. It's almost my Scarecrow song. Love those chords. Again, chat, if you want to, like, actually see the story of this game, you might want to watch my playthrough from five years ago, or someone else's playthrough, or play it yourself. Because this is- Oh, you fuck! You piece of shit! Fuck you! Yes, yes. This is what happens when you enter a dungeon with ice arrows. Hey, if the big key is in one of these, I could just go straight to the boss. Alright, well, not straight to the boss, but, you know, it would be helpful. Damn it. I've become one with the frog. Well, that was in the exact same spot. Alright, well, that'll be helpful. Gilded sword would help. Could you- you can get the gilded sword by this point in the game, right? Or no? You can? Man, I, I was so far- I was really far ahead of the curve on, uh, a lot of this playthrough by having this sword, and now I'm... Now I'm underpowered. Oh, that sucks. No, we don't want that! We want a heart! Alright, so all that effort, let's see what I get. It's not gonna be 10 rupees, 5 rupees, or even 20 rupees. It's gonna be the lens of truth. 
It's it's a hundred rupees. Also, chat, is there anyone on the Final Fantasy dev team named Nobunga? Or did I just make that up? There's no Nobunga. Is there a new Nobunga in any dev team? And you missed a valve? Uh no. Fuck! Gotta reverse the flow again? What, the red flow? <sighs> I believe this dungeon was created by, um, concept designer Nobunga. Yeah, they gave Nobunga this dungeon. It was his first and last. When Worlds Collide was such a good fucking song. Also, this boss in Majora's Mask 3D, I remember being annoying as fuck. Oh, I believe Nobunga created this boss fight, too. This was his concept. So, I, I think... Yeah, I think I want to do a thing where whenever there's something in a game I don't like, if I don't like the design of, it was made by Nobunga. Well, that wasn't fair, was it? Yeah, dive in place! Yeah! Yeah, you dick! I remember the 3DS version having, like, suction and, and like, mines, and I remember being really annoyed by it. Gilded sword. Time. That's what I call progress. The stone mask will make it much easier. Mate, I don't I don't have that. I just need one egg. Yeah, I mean the stone the stone mask could be anywhere, chat. I mean this could be the stone mask for all we know. You know, I was just wondering where this was. That was really close. That was almost... I thought that was the stone mask for like a split second. <clears throat> Full heart. Vinny, if you find the Zora egg, you should save state and sell it at the curiosity shop for 20 rupees. It's possible and for some reason it might be the most evil thing you could do in any Zelda game. Not even good money. For a specimen that good? What? How does that happen? Look! Room key? <laughs> what the fuck were they doing with that? Vinny, I think you need all the eggs. I, I don't th believe I do. Vinny, you need all the eggs. Uh, it looks like I still need- it doesn't say anything about, like, one egg. Does that mean I'm gonna have to, like, go back in time and do this again? Yeah, it's Oath to Order. Baby Zora's Oath to Order. That is a very important thing. I-I need that thing more than almost anything else, almost. 
Fuck! <laughs> Fallout! Can't wait for the super precise... Uh, Goron scum maze for- <laughs> That's probably gonna happen later on. Just walk. Uh, that's no fun. Alright, I'll just- ah! Uh, another excellent section designed by Nobunga. Did that guy last night ever find his wife? Who, the sad rat? I, I don't know. I hope he did. Oh, right, this fucking guy. Is always a fucking cool boss. It's the most shadow of the Colossus of all the Zelda bosses. Who keeps restocking these goddamn pots? Yeah. Yeah. Now this is. I went this whole time without saying. Now this is pod racing. Pog racing. <sighs> what have we become, chat? Oh yeah. From razor sword to 20 rupees. Save states are high risk of wiping save games with owl save combined. Oh fuck. I was just watching a video called, like, the worst fake speedrun on YouTube. And, um, I was thinking, man, I should... I should just, like, do one of those. Just, like, make it obviously very, very fake. And just take footage from this and combine it. And make it into, like, a world record. <laughs> Claim that I have the world record with very obvious edits. Let's see if the save is, is intact. Please, um, Chadley. Well, the save seems to be intact, so that's, uh, that's good. Alright, here we go. The Darmani races. Let's do it. Treasure chest as stockpot, at stockpot in as Goron first day. Did I not do that one already? <laughs> of course, during this race, you can see the moon. I think, uh, when people you know, complain about this game. I think there's some valid stuff. I think the game is a little obtuse and, and a lot to manage, and I get it. But one of the reasons it's probably one of my favorite Zelda games, just in my memory, is because of shit like you're doing the Goron race, and then you just look up and the moon is about to crash down into, into the planet. It's like you are not allowed to forget about that motherfucking moon. It stuck with me. And it still does to this day, and even playing the randomizer. You know what else? The sheer terror of losing the Goron race. I like the single frame of Goron Link's face we get to see every now and then. I think I still... maybe... have got this? I think I... <gasps> Crash Team Racing. How about every kart game I ever play? All of it just hit me. 
You can eat it. Trinus. Look <laughs> at Trinus. Why not? Oh, yeah. Ah! But yeah, this uh, this mini game kind of kind of sucks. I don't remember it being this annoying. Holy shit. I, I made no major mistakes. Look how close that son, that son of a bitch second place! You fuck. Skull fracture. Tony Hawk neck destruction. Okay. I don't know how to open this treasure chest. Oh, you know, the one side I hadn't. Vinny, you sound high-pitched tonight. That's cool. Do I sound younger or older today, in particular? Because I just don't hear it, chat. I mean, I, I don't think I sound higher-pitched in any way, shape, or form. People keep saying it, they come in, they're like, Vinny, you sound younger, older, higher-pitched. I don't, I don't really hear it. Uh, maybe, maybe someone else hears it. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. So, you know, if you hear it, let me know. But at this point, it's really not worth talking about or discussing in any way. <laughs> so, I guess up here first, or maybe the other way. I don't, I don't really know. There's a lot of... There's a lot of things. Well, um, the other way. We'll go to the other way. I'm looking on the map now. I see a fuckload of treasure chests. I'm like procrastinating doing the Zora egg quest. Oh, that'll help with the Zora egg quest at least. I forgot how to do this. Why are you so fast, though? You're flat! You're no talent! Please, Mr. Scutal, please! Nope. Yeah, I mean, that's... It's not essential, it's nice. Daruk's protection would be ready to roll right about now, too. Well, shit. <laughs> Fucking light arrows early, man. Uh, here's a song I probably won't need. Song of Healing would have been nice. Some of my voices are horrendously annoying. Um... And that's the point of them, I suppose. Jay Leno. Oh, uh, Adam. Tell me. Oh. What do you got there, Adam? You got a little, uh, you got a little, little asbestos? Asbestos? Uh oh. Excuse me, hang on a second. Let me get rid of this video. We don't need the video. It's just me and Jay Leno and your thoughts. No, hey, everybody. It's me, Ultra Leno. <laughs> Ultra Leno is here, and we're going to talk about cars and movies! Alright. <laughs> Just ride the elevator with him? You can't. Someone just said this has no bunga written all over it. Good dampy RNG. What? Bitch, what? What? Dampy is good and 
Best in ga game. You no. The genius that is Nobunga. Let's see how worth it this was, chat. You ready? Lens of truth, here it is. What the fuck? Genius Nobunga strikes again. Wait. That's the thing I need for the soldier, no? Give me the seahorse. Express mail to Mama. It's from the cafe, you really are an expert. I'm sorry, my thanks. Yes, yes, it is your job after all. It's a map of Snowhead. By far the cutest side quest in all of the Zelda games. I was gonna make a really morbid joke about, like, Popeyes. I was also going to reference a video I saw that included a horse and some baby chickens. It's one of, uh, one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Well, that just turned this cute moment into something, like, horrendous. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. Well, it was still worth it to do that, because that was adorable. Um... I guess we could try to do the, uh, the, the Zora egg quests. So, can I wear the stone mask now? Someone in chat said, what's with all this weird pitch shifting? <laughs> Just refresh, it should fix it, it should fix itself. Just refresh. Wait, chat. I only have six bottles. You need to make multiple trips. For Pete's sake. For Pete's sake. Four in the fortress. Four on the floor. <laughs> Harrison Four. Oh, put your mask on, Link! What, you can see me? <laughs> well, yeah, it worked. Gee, gee, that rock... ...really just stole all of our shit, didn't it? I mean, she knew. I don't know how she saw through the, the disguise. I had a very compelling disguise. Yeah, yeah, fucking clam! Yeah, eat the fuck- uh. I don't know if I got this treasure chests. I don't know what the fuck else I need. I don't need anything else. I pretty much have everything. That's nice, though. Me? Bazinga. So have fun with that one, chat. Every time you hear Gungaga, I want you to think Bazinga. Bazinga. I just don't know why they're guarding these, like, valuable precious eggs with fucking killer clams. Oh, they just fucking disappear. Okay. This just in bones can be electrocuted. Damn, that was frustrating. Seahorse is happy. Well, hey, at the end of the day, even though our bones sometimes fall... <laughs> the, listen, the positive, the happy side here is that we reunited two seahorses, and, that, and they're smiling, and they're happy. Fuck you. Fuck you two.
That took a while. I remember when I said I was only going to stream for like 20 more minutes? What are those, like, like tadpoles? Like little tadpoles? The way these Zora children have lined up, it means... It certainly doesn't look like the Oath to Order. It's been a long and emotional journey, and frustrating, but we're finally at the end of Majora's Mask. This stream was just intended for a one-off, just a couple hours, and it ended up being something more than that. I mean, for me, it was a good chance to revisit a game that I really loved, and we ended up together solving the mysteries and getting the 20 rupees and doing the other things i'll miss it even if it wasn't the full majora even if it was just a bunch of randomized go gobbledygook all put together it was great truly one of the best games ever made in my humble opinion even if it does have some frustrating game mechanics so um chat I, someone What happened? Uh oh. What happened here, chat? Oh. Good thing I had that backup save, no? So that's um that's a problem. The the owl statue overwrote the uh the manual save. That would have completely dead ended the run. That was the most terrifying moment of this entire playthrough, holy shit. I'd like to let you know that someone found Nobunga in an old video of mine. Do you remember the game Goblet Grotto? Are you Goblet? I streamed it in 2015. Akumajo Nobunga. There he is. I, th I thought there was someone on the Final Fantasy dev team named Nobunga, but now we know he's actually a part of the lore. He's real. Oh, I, do I? You, you can spawn multiple bends, right? You got that, Ben? I just want to know who on the design team thought this was a good idea and then approved it. I had a- oh, I had a dream. I had a weird dream that I just remembered. I was watching Jack White live in a room. It was like a round room. He was doing, I think, Raconteur's songs, and he ended one of the Raconteur's most popular songs, which doesn't actually exist in real life. And he had like, uh, it was a circular room, and I was in there watching and enjoying the show, and there were a bunch of like people in white suits dancing to the music in like a circular pattern. And then he gets to the end of the song, and he bangs on a gong with a skeleton. The attacks on my life have left me scarred. Someone said, Vinny, do you think it's fair to say that Breath of the Wild had a bad soundtrack, even though the music was designed exactly for the purpose? of being sparse like that. It most certainly did not have a bad soundtrack. The Rito music made me fucking, like, tear up. Because, well, I didn't, but someone in chat did and we talked about it. Um, do I have to jump in this, like, like, orgy portal? 
I don't remember this. I don't like it. Oh, I do remember this, yeah. Okay. Uh, while I liked the concept of Majora's Mask 3D's, like, giant mask, where you, like, become big and punch, I remember also being quite frustrated. Being... No, he, he really, he's great. Honestly, we had a lot of fun doing the weird carnival game nonsense and doing the secret technique. Oh, god damn it. Are you ki- are, what? What the fuck is that shit? Why does it warp me back? Chat, that is fucking... bullshit. People are saying, come to Brazil. Come to Brazil! There's UFOs in Brazil, I can't. There's that video of the UFO, where they're saying, like, they killed E.T. And it was just smoke in the distance, and like a weird, like, carnival light in the sky, and like, the video was just... E.T.'s have landed in Brazil. And it was just someone, like, put a smoke bomb... ...on the ground. Wow. Oh, that's- that's chill. Oh, and no fairy either- Oh! Oh! Do I have to remove one of these now? Because I did this out of order? I can't- I- I'm gonna have a fucking conniption. Which is older, Vine Sauce or Vsauce? Thank you for asking that question so I can brag a little bit. As far as I'm aware... I started my YouTube channel in February... 2010, and Vsauce started theirs in May 2010. That's the only thing that I'm aware of. Like, I don't know if they were around in some capacity before then. Hell yeah, 20 rupees? But the name, uh, my nickname being Vine, and like, or Vines, was many, many years even before that. Well, I got the nickname Vine because my friends and I were playing uh, Mario Party 6, I think it was, and, and I've told the story a million and one times, but... There's a mini-game where vines grow out of the ground and you have to climb them, you have to jump from vine to vine, and whoever, you know, is up furthest of the vine wins, but it looked like the vines were coming out of an asshole. Because the ground kind of parted in a very asshole-ish way. So... It was like, you know, you, you wake up and you call down, Mom, is it okay if it's vines? Honey, what are you talking about? If vines, you know, coming out of my, my ass? I don't know. Yeah, and now I guess we, uh, we wait as my mayor just hangs out over here. Vinny, why do you have infinite mana? Uh, there's an easy Chateau Romani that I've been getting at the very beginning of every day. It's been a fucking godsend. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess the randomizer just doesn't fuck around with this part at all. It's gonna skip the cutscene. Nope. Uh, uh almost. Almost. Yep, it's, uh, it skipped the cutscene.
Sorry, chat. This is not your Majora's Mask playthrough. The four giants show up, they come and they save, you know, they start lifting up the moon so it doesn't fall. And now we're in some fucking psychedelic nightmare wonderland, um, inside the moon. Twin Mold Kid has a few chests. Fierce Deity might be there. Here's the thing. It says, Fierce Deity, Majora Child. So that doesn't seem like it changed very much, did it? So you'll play? Yep. Well, shall we go? Fucking tendrils. Oh, that's such horse shit. Stop. Damn it. Majora's Roomba. Yep, the ending really just has you fighting actual masks. What? There we go. Be careful, fire on Zora is one hit KO. What the fuck? I love this phase. It's so fucked up. It's like the whimsical, chaotic nature of the mask. I like when it moonwalks. <laughs> so it's an actual penis music. Uh oh, swole. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, hold your horses there, cowboy! Oh shit! It's got Beyblades! Uh-oh. Well, I'm out of arrows. Whoa, stop, mate! Oh my god. Wow, he's nasty if you give him a chance. Are you kidding me? I don't know. It just happened like that. Stop, please. Please! Please! <laughs> Bro, please! I mean, people are saying it was a clutch. I had like five more healing items. Well, at least we get this ending, we get this cutscene, and the moon gets to piss off, moon. I always like that the Skull Kids have beaks. <laughs> These fucking giant designs. Well... Now I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. 
And yes, that's for those that haven't played this game. That's just the way he animates. He just cuts. In the beginning, when you play the game, you get a lot of like uh, scenes with him. And he just cuts from frame to frame. Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely just for a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me, Mr. Freeman. Okay, so Link has been dead. Alright, he's dying. The oxygen's leaving his brain. This was all in his brain. This was all in his mind. And his regret, his doubts, his fears, or we just saw all of them. What, you don't like that theory? Alright, I'll stop. So Squall is dead. And Renoa is Ultimisha. I don't know, I, I kind of like the ar allegorical, I was going to say allegorical, <laughs> allegorical nature of the game, even if it's not, like, 100% true, I like to view it like that a little bit. Because the themes are in there a little. You can look for them, you can find them. Here we're going, jumped over the hill. It's also why I think this is one of the best Zelda games, because there's just a lot of different, like, heavy themes that it tackles. I think it's it's between all the characters and the three day cycle and all the side quests and the fact that it's, there's only four dungeons but the world is so fleshed out. Even though we didn't get to see a lot of it for Randomizer, I think this has the best narrative of any of the Zelda games for me. Even if it is a smaller scale story on the grand scheme of things and it's not Hyrule and it's not Ganon. Could you check where the Fierce Deity Mask was now that this is all over? I told you, it was the Majora Child. It was exactly in the same place. It was vanilla. While this is happening, Chad, I'm gonna generate a new seed. And I'm gonna start with the Fierce Deity Mask. There's Andrew and Cafe. There's me. And once again, most people don't know that Link did a goddamn thing. Just like at the end of Ocarina, no one knows. Oh, that- that story is really fucking sad. That is a nightmare. God. That poor bastard. I'm trying to find the randomized music option. left side of cosmetics tab oh thanks and there it is that's i like that all right now we're gonna do the nick cage version all right it's me nicholas cage the moon that is perfect. Okay, so I randomized sound effects, too. <laughs> Consider this like a little bonus run. <laughs> this is a complete accident, and it's great. The, the, 
What is this music? This is Mario Kart? <laughs> A tingle. <laughs> that's, probably, that's another good one. Oh my god, dog, please. Yo, what up? It's me, Link. I'm here to save Termina! <laughs> Revenge on the Kleiner bird. Oh my god, oh my god, what? Oops. Okay. That was 100% uh, correct. So, so they. This is why they didn't allow fierce deity in the overworld. Jump slash to get over the rock. <laughs> Star Fox. Oh, that's the dog. <laughs> yeah. It won't let me bet. The hell? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I could just walk across the whole thing now. Yep, no need for swimming or hopping of any kind. Uh oh. Alright, that's Majora randomized.